Zi na gani dar adit kanusu de ne Johnson zi unja dar rocks ta. Gua hi gan zi wat ne ganun hara dum hage dum. Ta gua der hara dum gua kanto. The soldiers will take those weapons. Peace, peace. Have I not always been an advocate? Have I not always sought to protect you from harm? If you wish to protect us, then give us arms, muskets and horses that we might defend ourselves. War is not the answer. We remember, Stanwix. We remember you moved the borders. Even today your men dig up the land, showing no regard for those who live upon it. Your words are honeyed, but false. We are not here to negotiate, nor to sell. We are here to tell you and yours to leave these lands. So be it. I offered you an olive branch, and you knocked it from my hand. Perhaps you'll respond better to the sword. Are you threatening us? Yes. Oh, 
This won't take long. What have you done? Ensured an end to your schemes. You sought to claim these lands for the Templars. Aye, that we might protect them. Do you think that good King George lies awake at night, hoping that no harm comes to his native subjects? Are that the people of the city care one whit about them? Oh, sure. The colonists are happy to trade when they need food or shelter, or a bit of extra padding for their armies. But when the walls of the city constrict, when there's crops that need soil, when there's... when there's no more enemy to fight, we'll see how kind the people are then. The colonists have no quarrel with the Iroquois. Not yet. But they will. It's just the way of the world. In time, they'll turn. I... I could have stopped it. I could have saved you all. You speak of salvation, but you were killing them. Aye, because they would not listen. And so, it seems, neither will you. Ayawas ne yate hagum sare, amdah yayum ne skanas <laughs> izagum haje.
William Johnson is dead, and with him, the Templar plot to steal the land of my people. But in ending this threat, I have revealed another. On his body was a letter addressed to John Pitcairn, containing orders to root out and destroy Patriot weapons and supplies. Should he succeed in this, the colonists will be unable to maintain their resistance, and the Templars will surely take control. So long as Pitcairn lives, the danger remains. I need to find him. He needs to die. I thought it might bring clarity or instill a sense of accomplishment, but all I feel is regret. Hold fast to that. Such sacrifices must never come lightly. I had to do it. Not only for my people, but for all the others Johnson would have harmed. It's a start. But to truly be free of Templar influence, all of them must be dealt with in turn. Even your father... I know. You speak the words, but do you believe them? Seems we've company. What is it? A request for aid from Paul Revere. Seems the Redcoats are up to something in Boston. Guess you made an impression on the Sons of Liberty. They mistake me for one of their own. Please tell Mr. Revere he has my sympathies, but I cannot help at present. You might wish to reconsider. John Pitcairn is mentioned by name. Where am I to go? Mr. Revere's house in Boston. If you'd like, I can...
Enjoy yourself, man. Have you taken leave of your own? Ah, Connor! What a relief! You came! <laughs> Allow me to... <laughs> ...to introduce you to William Dawes and Robert Newman. Your letter said John Pitcairn was here. Aye. He's readying an assault on Lexington, where Adams and Hancock have taken shelter. After that, he will march on Concord, hoping to destroy our weapons and supplies. You must help us. Only tell me where to find him, and I will put a stop to this. He has dozens, if not hundreds, of soldiers at his command. You cannot hope to match him by yourself. But fear not, for you will not have to. We have an entire army of our own, merely awaiting the order to take up arms. Then you must call upon them. Indeed. You and I. Cross the Charles River and rouse the boys. William, I need you to take the overland route and do the same. Robert, I need you up in Christchurch. Light the signal. Two lanterns, our enemy comes by sea. No time for dawdling, my friend. We have lives to save. Come on. They've only left a single horse. We'll have to ride together. Ah! You take the reins, I'll navigate. Quickly, Connor, get on the horse! I'll guide you towards those we need to alert. Follow my directions, and we'll be done in no time. Yes! This is it! This is the way! Excellent! We are right on course! We are right on course! Redcoats. What are they doing here? Yes, this is exactly where we need to they be. They must be scouts. Be careful, Connor. We mustn't let them warn the others. Yes! This is it! This is the way! To the left, Connor! 
Let us continue the search on foot. This is it! You have got the right place! Let everyone know that the regulars marked for Lexington and Concord! The British are coming! Back in the saddle, my friend! We have more people to warn! I believe we are on course. This way, Connor! We can't afford to be discovered, Connor. Hide! Go left up here. Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Go right, Connor. Here we are. Best to continue on foot. Did you hear that? Could be red coats. Careful. This is it. You have got the right place. Spread the word. The regulars are coming out. At once! Excellent! We are right on course! Connor. Not here, Connor. To the left, Connor. Best to continue on foot.
This is it. You have got the right place. The regulars are coming. Here. We're here. Get them! You need to lose them. We need to lose them. Well, I suppose that's one way to deal with the situation. That was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. We will never finish in time if we go by foot. We need to lose them. Left! We've got to shake those red coats! Faster! We need to get away from them! That was much too close for comfort. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. Yes! This is it! This is the way! Let us continue the search on foot. This is it! You have got the right place! Where the devil is he? Are you sure we are in the right place? Well, sure I'm sure. Prescott? Evening, gents! Listen, the regulars are out. You need to rally your men. And, uh... Put on some trousers. At once! Welcome to Lexington, Connor. Now let's find Hancock and Adams. Hmm. No sign of Dawes. I hope he's all right. Paul, Connor. Good to see you. You need to leave. The Redcoats are coming. Aye, so Williams told us. Let them conduct their little search. They'll find nothing. You don't understand. Pitcairn intends to kill you. I'm afraid it's true. I suppose we have no choice then but to go. What of you three? 
Dawes and I will continue on to Concord. Connor, it's best you stay here and help our man John Parker hold the town. It'll give us time to spread the word. <laughs>